Well, folks, here we go. Wind up the start of summer activities and the end of the school year. It's fun. It's an exciting time, but it can bring on a barrage of events and demands like ceremonies True. and last minute school plays. What's happening here? Uh, it can leave us feeling stressed and a little bit overwhelmed. Oh yeah, we're, we're already talking about all the summer activities to get them signed up for, including my daughter's driver's ed, <gasps> which is just craziness. I know, okay? that's, oh my gosh. Okay, well, Dr. Karen that's Ryan, thank help. goodness that she's here from Nystrom Associates. She's gonna help uh, share what we can do for all those stressed out parents. Um, but before we get into that, yeah. Let's share something new about you. Yeah. What is new in your life? I have a new puppy oh, in my life. Franny. Yay. There's Franny. Franny. Yes. What is Franny? I know. She's just nine weeks. She oh. is a large Munsterlander. What is that? So it's not a well-known dog breed. So they're a bird dog, hunting dog, oh but gosh. great with families. They're smart. They're affectionate. They work hard. And so oh, look at her. <laughs> That's a really she's nice on or off. Tummy. There she's off or she's on. That's why my hair is in a ponytail because she chews my hair every second. <laughs> yep. And there's oh my, my Greta with this Franny. This is very exciting. Yeah. And you know, it, I think a puppy is another great example when we're talking about this topic today, which is like all of these fun and exciting events that also bring along a lot of stress. Yes. That's exactly what a puppy is. 100%. <laughs> so much good and so much stress and busyness and work. All at the yeah, same yeah. time. Yeah, so much all of it. The, the potty train, all of it, but then they snuggle with you and they go, oh, oh, everything exactly. is forgotten. I don't care that you <laughs> ate my shoe and you ate my hair. Totally. <laughs> I so love you, baby. So yeah. sweet. So when it comes to this time of the year and we're feeling like we've got all this summer stuff planned and all these activities, um, what can we do to help? You say going back to basics can going be Going to the basics, yes. Eating well, sleeping, and drinking water. Mm. They think about the days get longer, we have more and more activities. Like I have a tendency to want to shove more in, and so it's like really being aware of like what time is it? Are we getting good enough sleep? And especially with kids, because there's so many activities and they can go, 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 and we see that, right? Yeah. We can see it in crabbiness and just yeah. it's hard, they fall apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I think the sleep component for me personally is the biggest thing. Yeah. Because when I, if I don't get you know, adequate sleep, then the next day, you're just kind of behind the eight ball. Yeah. But it is difficult because there are times where we get home from a kid activity at nine or 9.30. And it's yeah. light so late. And yes. it's light so yeah, late. Yeah, it's tempting, you know? it's very tempting. And so it's like, are there certain things you can cut out? Like watching that extra TV show or that bedtime routine, can we simplify it a little bit? Because you're right, we're impacted for a couple of days if we don't sleep yeah. well. Oh, succession, so we gotta catch up on, and it's so <laughs> good. I know. You know? I'm in yes. this current jet lag situation where you really start to understand <laughs> sleep. Like my body thinks that it is, uh, what, 9.30 right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I might fall asleep before the four o'clock. <laughs> well, especially having yeah. a couple of six yeah. of gin. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So part so part of that going back yeah. to basics, totally I'm, yes. I'm with you on that. What else can we do as parents to sort of ease the, the stress? One of the things I think is really helpful is to functionally sit down and look at your calendar, look at your phone, and look at the month and see what you have coming up. Yeah. Do you have five graduation parties? Do you have like a play coming up? Do they have costumes? If they're going to Valley Fair, do you have a swimsuit that fits? And really sitting down and looking at it and being like, what things do I need to prepare? Mm -hmm. So how many, then you have, I, I need five graduation cards. Do I need cash yeah. or checks? You know, do we have swimsuits? Do we have cleats that fit? Are we ready for that? So kind of thinking through the things that have preparation, that can be really helpful so then it's not a last minute running to the grocery store kind yeah. of thing. Looking yeah. at the timing I think is really important too. I yes. mean, we kind of went through this. We actually canceled one summer activity that we had the kids signed up for swimming, golf and tennis. Mm -hmm. And then we started to just go, this is a lot. Yeah. And there's one of these that the kids weren't super excited about, mm -hmm. which was swimming. Like they yeah. weren't super excited. And, and we thought, why are we, they don't want to be competitive swimmers. We don't care if yeah. they're competitive swimmers. Like, why are we pushing this? Yes, Let's exactly. just take it off the plate. Exactly. So when you look at the calendar and there's multiple things, especially on one day or too many things, it's what's the priority? What yeah. do we really want to do? And then being real like functional about how much time does each one take and how much energy and do we want to do them all? And so mm -hmm. sometimes it's having a family conversation about what are the priorities? What do we want to do is key. And then the other thing is being prepared to say no then to yeah. some of the other things. Yeah. And it's tapping in for that, like I call it unwarranted guilt. I'm like, oh, I need to, and if I'm not there, they're going to be so mad. And we get that narrative going, and it's like, this person really isn't going to be mad if you miss the graduation party, and you reach out two days later and ask how things are going and have yeah. a good conversation. Yeah. yeah. And so it's kind of checking into about like the added pressure you put on with mistaken beliefs or kind of that narrative. I'm like, that's not necessary. I'm doing the best I can. I'm totally guilty of doing that. Yeah. Because there, there are things where we have to maybe just reach out to the coach or something. It's like, sorry, you know, my little guy can't make the practice or the game yeah. just because of other conflicts and other things. And I yeah. just feel this kind of like heavy guilt of like, yeah. 
man, I just like, I want my kid to be committed to this. Yeah. And I feel like there's a value in that, yeah. but also understand that there's like, we, you can't do, we can't do everything can't and do be everything. everywhere, mm -hmm. which kind of leads into to your, one of your next points is like, that's not always going to go perfect. Yeah, it's not. And so that cope ahead and even giving yourself that forewarning of like things aren't going to go as planned. Like mm -hmm. yesterday I had a set plan. I was going to get Chelsea's track meet with the dog, then go to the soccer. I was late. I didn't make it to the track meet, but I was like, the most important thing is that you have her soccer uniform and you bring her from track to soccer. She doesn't actually care if you see her run. Yeah. And so that's that kind of checking those facts. And so coping ahead and planning and knowing that in the moment, like, that's right. I knew I might not make it to everything mm -hmm. or it wouldn't go as planned. That's okay. That's not a failure. Things aren't always going to go as planned. I try to look back too and go, my parents didn't come to everything. They didn't sit mm -hmm. at everything. Mm -hmm. Like, who told us that that's what we have to be yeah. in 2023? Like, Especially I'm the okay. Practices. I know. Like, I understand the games. Yeah. Like, my parents were great about attending our games, but they didn't watch one practice. <laughs> And, and, and checking that fact by saying, do you, do you mind if I don't sit at the practice? Yeah. And if they're like, no, not at all. Right. Yeah. Then absolutely. Let then it go. you have some ability yeah. to do other errands or self-care. Well, and yes. checking in with the kids. We're talking a lot about what the parents can do, yeah. but checking in with the kids is a great way to kind of ease everybody's stress too yes. as a household as yeah. well about planning ahead their days. Exactly. So many times when they get to middle school or high school, they have these big projects and these big things at the end of the year, and they're not skilled yet at problem solving or planning things out. And so helping them kind of think, all right, how many exams do you have? When are they coming? And help them kind of set little goals or break it down can be helpful because this, they just don't have that skill it's yet. It's so good. Okay, yeah. before we go, yep. um, when you're on the go and you're starting to feel that like panic of like, I can't get everything done, what do you think you should do in that moment? Because a lot of things we've talked about are kind of looking big picture, yep. but what about when you're in the frantic and you're, you're about to moment. snap? Yeah. First thing is take a deep breath, like literally stop and take a breath and go, if you're in the car, drop your shoulders, relax your face, relax your stomach, relax your legs, and then say, this is a really busy day. I'm doing this. I am doing this busy day. It is stressful, but I'm okay. I'm going to good things. I miss some things, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. And so kind of validation of like that this is stressful. Again, you're not doing anything wrong. It's a busy day, validating it, and then doing whatever you can just to slow yourself physiologically down, then helps those thoughts slow down. It makes it feel a little more manageable. This is very good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. I think sometimes screaming into a pillow is good too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you're by yourself, and if you you're by yourself, yeah. you a four letter word in and your just, car. just like let out one big yell. Uh huh. Yep. And you can throw in a four letter word if you want. Yeah, and then you, you don't have to. And then you but, can relax your face. Yeah, and then you can be like, <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. Then I can relax my <laughs> totally, face yeah. and my shoulders. Dr. Ryan, you're the best. You're yeah. the best. Thank my you. My pleasure. Good luck with that puppy. Oh, thank you. Oh, I know. I know. Snuggle with that little girl. So cute. All right, Nystrom Associates provides care in the fields of family therapy, psychiatry, psychology and much, much more. And you know, they work with couples, families, and people of all ages, old and young, doesn't matter. If you're struggling with stress, anxiety, or depression, or even addiction, make sure that you reach out to them today. And we've got more TCL coming up next.